lemon direct yeah it's all about the process that's how you progress in life process how do you process your life how do you process information how do you process this and that you know how do you process this inside of your mind you know inside of your inside of you how do you process everything how do you perceive yourself perceive yourself as someone great or someone that has no meaning here you know that's what we have to bring back to the the meaning the, the meaning and uh, fullness into our life and not only meaning for our family for our children and that meaning for the for the love for life you know we must show our love for life not just talk about it but show it show it in any way that you can any way that you can elevate elevate others it's all about uplift mind it's all about uplifting our minds uplifting who we are becoming better with better vibes and more higher vibes and it's all about upliftment uplift mind i like to call it uplift mind it's better than upliftment oh look at this but the hole is almost empty now. Someone forgot the bag there. Or left the bag there. Maybe it's a fisherman and he's in the river somewhere. I don't see anybody. I'll go check it out. It's on Paradise Island. I don't know if you can see it. Ground. on the ground where we should be on the ground grounded reality not with confusion and illusion but grounded with reality leaving the tv you know tv is gonna tell you a vision it's gonna tell you the vision to have for your life and you can believe it anything that you believe if you believe believing is self-deceiving if you believe anything, you're self-deceiving yourself. Self-deceiving yourself. So yes, there's lots of deceivers out there, but if you believe, then you self-deceive. Yeah, yeah, there's lots of... Uh, many deceivers out there. Many, many sellout, many people that are out in the public, but at one point, you know, it's just to... It's very, very important in an awakening, in, in, a, in a time where we're realizing the lies that they counter-attack. They're going to counter-attack for sure. Hey, come on. That's what it's all about. There's uh, their stuff online, uh, all the gurus online, and uh, that, that's what it is. Uh. You know, the preachers, like I said, have left the church. And they're now on YouTube. The same thing. You can name them all. Many preachers out there claiming uh, all kinds of stuff as long as you claim anything it's a lie why no, the only thing you should claim is your uh, claim and proclaim and uh, acclaim is your uh, greatness <laughs> for some reason we shrink in fear and the fear, you can sense it so much. You sense it so much, the fear inside people. Especially the elderly people. Especially elderly people. Oh my, 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 I can sense the fear so much. I just pulled in the driveway here before. And there's two ladies that... Mm -hmm. A certain age and... Uh, I would say over 70 for sure. Like, they kept looking at me with a weird look and like very, uh, very suspicious of me. Like I was going to attack them and we're so much in fear. Man. And that prevents us from uh, experiencing a lot. Fear prevents you from experiencing life. 
Oh, you will just be existing because you, you live in fear. You're in fear of connecting with others, fear of uh, fear of everything. We fear our shadow, like I said yesterday. We fear even our shadow. That's why they call us human, the shadow of the man, and we're afraid of that shadow. So we stay in fear and we cultivate the fear and propagate it and until we wake up. Until our conscience is uh, activated, uh, your awareness is expand, and you question everything, don't take anything for uh, a whole bunch of lies out there, a whole bunch of liars, a whole bunch of lies and liars. So, it's your choice, you either give your energy to the liars or to the true, uh, true people or the truth, which is who you are, finding who you are. That's where our energy should be. Our energy should not be placed on the stuff that doesn't matter in our life, like TV and film and movies, you know, movies. I was a big, big watcher of movie before because we love the fantasy. We love the fantasy, so we watch movies. I don't watch them anymore. I'm not in, I'm rising in love with the love for life not the love for the fantasy fantasy is not life fantasy is fantasy it's not life the love for life is something deep rebel for life is something deep it's deeper than anything you can imagine any deeper than any truth you can imagine the truth is so deep so deep and so evident so there in our eyes in our minds in our in what we are and but we shrink, we shrink and we fall into the, the nonsense, the material world, we default to that, we default to the nonsense constantly, because we love the fantasy, we love the, we love to be fed the, the fantasy and to entertain it, and so this way we don't get to know who we are, we don't find out who we are, we're just remaining comfortably numb, and life is okay like that, it's like, default state, everyone's in the default state, so why should I? not be in the default state that's what you tell yourself why should I go after my most people don't most people prefer to stay comfortably numb but you don't have to be one of those you don't have to commit a spiritual suicide because that's what it is that's why you're depressed that's why you wake up in the morning you don't know what to do with your life because you have nothing to, to no dream to work on you just have your regular job and you feel depressed and feel like you're running on a hamster wheel well stop the hamster wheel get out the get out the the, the rat race 